Daniel was a Jew, which meant he was part of God's special family, the Israelites, who lived in, you guessed it, Israel. When Daniel was a young man, King Nebuchadnezzar came from a city called Babylon and took over Israel. He chose the smartest, fittest, most handsomest men to leave their homes and come and work for him. And they didn't really have a choice about this. Now most of the people in Babylon didn't follow God. They lived their own way, the Babylon way. King Nebuchadnezzar put these smart, strong, handsome young men from Israel through a training program. He gave them new names. He taught them all about the language and culture of the Babylonians. Really, he wanted them to be so surrounded by the things of Babylon that they'd become just like Babylonians themselves and be loyal to him, the king, and go his way. But Daniel and his friends knew that they didn't really belong in Babylon. They belonged to God. And so they decided that they'd keep going his way, even if that meant they were different to everyone around them. They might have changed their names and their outward appearance, but underneath it all, their hearts still stayed true to God. King Nebuchadnezzar gave his trainees a special feast, but Daniel and his friends didn't want to eat the food because it would have been against God's way. We don't know exactly why, but it must have been a good reason for Daniel to take a stand on it. And so Daniel said to the king's advisors, eating this food would be against God's way. I'd like your permission to not eat it. The advisors were scared that Daniel would look ill and unfit if he didn't eat it and that then the king would get mad at them and they would get in trouble. But Daniel said, let's put it to the test for 10 days. Let us eat and drink only food and vegetables and then see how we are getting on. And they agreed. So Daniel and his friends ate only vegetables and drank only water for 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, they were fitter and stronger and healthier than all the other trainees who had been feasting on the king's food. Not only were they fitter and stronger, God also gave them knowledge and understanding, so they stood out miles above the rest of the trainees. King Nebuchadnezzar saw how much better they were than the others, and so he offered them jobs and they worked for him. It must have been pretty scary for Daniel and his friends to say they didn't want to do what the king wanted them to do. But Daniel was concerned about staying true to God, not about being different. Over time, lots of the other Israelites started looking and acting just like the Babylonians. It wasn't that long before you wouldn't have seen any difference at all. But Daniel and his friends, they decided that they wanted to stay true to God and that was the most important thing. The Bible tells us that if we follow Jesus, we are a bit like Daniel. We're living somewhere that isn't really our home because we belong in God's kingdom. But while we are still living here, we should decide to go God's way, even if that means sometimes being different to everyone else around us.